Yo, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. This video is going to be all about GTA 5 FPS optimization guide. So if you want to get better FPS in GTA 5 and if you want it to perform well, make sure to watch this video without skipping any step for better results. Also, 96% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, so consider subscribing for more awesome videos like this. I believe in you guys, we can achieve 16k subscribers really soon. So don't let me down. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Before doing any step, I highly recommend you guys to update your graphics card drivers. For that, all you have to do is go to device manager and then go for display adopters, right click and hit update driver and then search automatically for the drivers. Make sure you have the latest drivers installed. Alright, starting off with the Windows settings. All you have to do is click start and then go to the settings. Then search here game mode settings and make sure you have the game mode enabled. Then go to graphic settings. Over here click on browse and then go to the install location of your GTA 5. Alright, once you are in the install directory of your GTA 5, Make sure to click on this GTA5.exe, hit add and then go to options and make sure to put it on high performance. Also, I suggest searching for background apps and make sure to disable all the background apps running in your PC to save memory. Then open up your control panel and over here search for power. Then click on power options and make sure to select high performance. Once done with that, here is a link to GTA 5 FPS pack by Bearfox. You have to download this from the link in the description below and you'll find 4 things over here. I'll move ahead with RAM optimization. So here are a few registry files made by LitRanger, one of my friend. Um, you guys can check his channel from the description below. So you have to run these registry files as per as your PC. So. What you have to do is type in system information and then look for the total physical memory available. For me, it's 16 GB. So here's the 16 GB RAM optimization registry file. All you have to do is double click and run it. Then go back and search for GTA 5 tweak. Now, once you are in this folder, there are four folders, each one containing a settings XML file. Now, if you are a user with RTX or equivalent graphics card, use the high-end PC folder. If you have a GDX or equivalent graphics card, use the budget PC folder. If you have a GD or equivalent graphics card, use the medium spec folder. And if you don't have a graphics card you're playing on integrated graphics or equivalent, use the following folder. For me, I'm gonna be using the high-end PC. Then, you'll find a settings.xml file. All you have to do is right-click and hit edit. You'll find a really big chain of text over here. All you have to do is maximize the window and then from the settings portion scroll all the way down to the video section and then control C. Now close this file and go to your file explorer then go to documents. Over there search for Rockstar Games. In here search for GTA 5 then right click on settings.xml hit edit and from settings scroll all the way down until the video paste these values, hit Ctrl S, and then close it. Once done with that, go back to the FPS folder, then go to ISLC. It will ask you for administrative permissions, so make sure you give it the required administrative permissions. Over here, you'll find a lot of options. The first one is the list size at least. Make sure to set it at 1024, and the free memory lower than, make sure to put it the half of your system memory. Then, wanted timer resolution 0.50. Use the delete button and then enable custom timer resolution. For the polling rate, go for 500 and then hit start. Also, hit port standby list. Now, minimize the app and go back to the FPS folder. Now, you have to run and install this memory software. Once you open up the software, you'll find a button called Clean Memory. 
I'll explain you how it works. Open up the task manager and you guys can see there is a 46% usage of memory in my PC. Once I hit clean memory, I hit yes, have a look. Memreduct helps reducing the load on memory and makes it free for gaming. Once done with everything, launch GTA 5. Okay, once you open up GTA 5, hit escape and then go to settings. Then look up for graphics and over there, the first rule is make sure the video memory is half of the total memory available. For DirectX version, just if you are using a high spec PC, then you can use DirectX 11. If you're having a medium or low spec PC, use DirectX 10 or 10.1, whichever suits you well. Screen type, I always recommend playing on full screen because windowed full screen or windowed screen will always run apps in the background and it will never prioritize your game. So always run your game in full screen. For resolution, make sure to play on a native resolution. For refresh rate, make sure to go for the refresh rate available for your monitor. For my monitor, 75 Hz is the best refresh rate. For FXA, turn it off. MSA, turn it off. VSync, turn it off. Pause game on focus loss, turn it off. Then, I highly recommend you guys to scale everything down. Now, for the texture quality, make sure to put it on normal. For shaders quality, make sure to put it on normal. For shadow quality, make sure to put it on normal. For reflection quality, make sure to go for normal. Reflection MSAA should be turned off. Water quality, you can go with high because water is not everywhere. Particle quality, make sure to put it on normal. Grass quality, normal. Soft shadows, um, go for NVIDIA PCSS or the AMD CHS, which one you have. For post FX, make sure to put it on normal. And nitropic filtering, turn it off. Ambient allocation, turn it off. Tessellation, turn it off. And once done with that, hit enter. Then go to advanced graphics and hit save all these files. Once you're in the advanced graphics, make sure to turn off every single option you guys can see over here. Alright, so if this video helps you out, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. As I said, we are really close to 16k subscribers and I believe in you guys. You can definitely help me by clicking the red subscribe button down below. So I'll see you around in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.